Okay, solar update. It's for the lithium uh, batteries. My card I got from Menards, $69 plus 11% rebate. I should be able to set, oh, I'm thinking 40 kilowatt of batteries, Tesla batteries on that. Question, should I lay them flat? Or should I stand them up? Hey, you solar guys, let me know. Lithium guys, let me know. Going off grid, Frank Z, JW Solar, Bobby, help a guy out, would you? <laughs> oh yeah, charge voltage. What should I charge them lithiums at? Max is 25.2, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going out of the lead, lead acids in the lithium, and it's kind of making my mind wander a little bit. I'm going to take you outside and show you what I've done today and yesterday. So I've got my liquid liquid conduit, liquid metal conduit, running from my junction box there from the five 500 watt panels in string. Got it run over to this one. Ooh, sorry. This connects up to the, this porch, which is another 500 watts, uh, 12 volt in string. So I got a thousand watt at 100 volts on a good day but nothing's hooked up besides to the boxes and solar panels nothing's hooked up into the solar shed yet okay 500 watts that's that new uh, rich solar panel you see the bow in it seems to be performing we're gonna make do it to the test I could have sent it back but I just want to test it out just want to test it out there's the other set back there. Think about putting another 500 watts here, just because this is high enough on the hill to where it actually gets sun most of the day because of the trees. It's a little bit higher so I get more power. Y'all let me know on the lithium batteries if you would. Like I said, I'm new at this lithium thing. Oh yeah, I gotta move that. TV antenna because it throws a shadow on them panels back there at the uh, later part of the day. So, uh, yeah, that's where we are. Not so far. All this rain. Finally got a nice spot during the day. I got some stuff done yesterday. It turned out nice at the end of the day. Most of yesterday was rain. But it turned out just like this. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Nothing much going on in the shed, but like I said, I'm gonna try to do them uh, Tesla batteries tomorrow. Hopefully, have a batter a, a video on it. Well, thanks for watching, Southern Ohio. See y'all later. Well, yeah, I can't go without uh, showing you Addie's little garden, the green baby. Her pickles are coming up, really nice. I don't know, just something. There's the other conduit I got spread out to where it uh, straightens up. For tomorrow, I'm going to run with the other wire to the power shed or the solar shed. Uh, the wife's bonsai tree, dwarf bonsai tree, banana plants, banana trees. And yep, there's a solar porch with the uh, original banana trees. Well, thanks for watching, people. And yeah, and uh, these panels are pretty much in the shade now. Um, another reason for the roof panels. But of course, the roof panels are not doing any good because they're not hooked up yet to the power shed anyway. There's our cedar tree we transplanted. It was a good day to the uh, dog pound today or dog shelter. And uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, unlike, whatever you want to do. Just uh, subscribe if you would. Share if you would. Thanks. Solar powered something. Gas. I think, maybe. Let's get them back from the Ross County Humane Society. All adoptions include spay and neuter and vaccines. Come on down. Yeah.